What do processed foods like cold cuts, bread, and pizza have in common? Does it taste good? That may be true, but they also top the Center for Disease Control's list of foods with the most sodium, contributing to salt overload in diets of not only adults, but children too. The study found that children who ate the most salt had elevated blood pressure or hypertension, a disease normally associated with adults. Ashley Smith says she's not surprised about the findings, and because her two youngest children are on a gluten-free diet, she pays close attention to nutrition labels. We buy a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables, a lot of frozen fruits and vegetables. Other parents admit salt is something they really don't think about. Kind of think about what you add to it, not what's already in it. Here's a way to look at it. It's recommended that both children and adults consume no more than 2,300 milligrams of sodium per day. That's just one teaspoon of salt. But the study found that on average, children are consuming 3,400 milligrams of sodium per day. And that's 1,000 milligrams. Too much. 130 over 70. Dr. Alan Perkins with USA Medical Center says we are all salt dependent, and when it comes to a child's blood pressure, it's not so cut and dry like the standard 120 over 80 for adults. For kids, it's based on age, and it's based on all kids. And so what we do is we use a, a percentile. So what we do is for, for every kid, we'll do a blood pressure on it. Then we look to see where they compare to, to all the kids of that age. And so there's not a good easy number that we can use, but what happens is your physician should have a chart uh, that, uh, that they can use to check. And that's why the machines in the, in, the, in the grocery stores and whatnot aren't really calibrated for kids. Dr. Allen says it all boils down to making healthy food choices starting at an early age. In Mobile, Tiffany McCall, News 5.